So what is likely to come out of this meeting? With Ben Bernanke staying away, those looking for clarity on the future direction of US monetary policy will have to rely on the minutes from last July's meeting, which were released earlier this week. Instead, expect a lot more focus on the international dimension of monetary policy. Unofficially, you may also get a lot more chatter on who will succeed Mr Bernanke to become the world's most important central banker. He's the world's most important central banker, yet Ben Bernanke, the chairman of the US Federal Reserve, has decided to skip this weekend's monetary policy shindig. Each year, the world's most senior monetary policy officials gather in this scenic resort for a meeting that's become known as the who's who of global central banking. But the head of the Fed isn't the only one who'll be missing. The governor of the Bank of England, Mark Carney, and European central bank head Mario Draghi have also decided to stay home. In fact, a lot of the action may take place miles away, in Washington. Over the next few months, the occupant of the White House must decide who will replace Mr Bernanke when his term ends in January. The leading contenders include former US Treasury Secretary Larry Summers and Fed Vice Chair Janet Yellen. Michelle Fleury, BBC News, New York.